Hello! Hi! Welcome! It is a Monday, and I have this whole week off. <laughs> That's why I have the crazy hair. Um, but yeah, I have this whole week off, which is great. Hello, bus driver life. Yay. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm sitting, I'm editing a very giant vlog. It's vlog 19. Um, I'm not even halfway done with the edits yet. And um, I still have to work in my planner. I have to teach a class tonight. Uh, what else do I, oh, I do want to try and uh, learn a new, um, it's called TNA. So I'm teaching pound tonight and TNA is the one where you lay on the floor. It, it hurts a lot. And so I <laughs> haven't learned a new TNA in quite a long time. Um, but I'm getting sick of the one that we've been doing and I need to, I need to do another one. I have to do another one. But, um, I also, this morning I finished my laundry. I just got to put this away. This is the only thing that has to be put away. They're my jammies. As you can see, my skull jammies right here. Um, and then I also, this is, this is probably like me being like, oh, I can get all this done. I can get all this done. I want to film a mid, what do they call it? A mid-year, hold on. I have it up already on my computer. It is called a mid-year freakout tag everyone does, and I've never done one before, so I thought that would be fun because I've gotten a lot of reading completed, so... I might film that today. I don't know. Um, and what else? I think that's it. That's a lot of stuff. Like not a lot of time reading today. Uh, tomorrow I'm got to take my niece to a soccer camp. Uh, she's like three hours or something like that. She's got to go. So uh, little man and I are going to go do some shopping while she's at soccer camp. And uh, who knows what else we're gonna do but yeah uh that is it that's the update for right now and uh oh it's supposed to storm today like really bit last night it was crazy storming it was pretty awesome um i just love a good summer storm the cats don't like the summer storm but you know no one asked them i don't know if you guys can hear but it is thundering outside and it got really, really dark in here. <sighs> Try to see if you can hear it. The funny part is you hear the thunder, you know... It's a slight rumble right there. You know it's about to storm really bad. My neighbors, the new neighbors across the street, he's out mowing the lawn. <laughs> Who mows their lawn when there's thunder going on? Like, hello? It's probably gonna lightning soon. And you're out mowing the lawn. Okay, it's not very smart. It just started raining. You can kind of see it on the grill. Like it's just little bits of rain. But it's a coming. Tula, Tula's right here by my feet. Storms don't bug her. Natalie's the only one that gets bugged out by storms. But she's sleeping in her little box, I think. But yeah. Plants will be happy that it's raining.
well, this is cute. We just lost power. <laughs> we literally just lost power in the house. Oh. And that was on again. Oh. Oh. Shit. Yeah. I legit think we're having, like, a miniature tornado right now. Oh. Oh my heavens. <gasps> um. Um. Holy sh shit. Okay, now we have hail. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God. Yo, look at it coming off my roof. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my poor plants. Well, oh my goodness. Hello. Hi, it is Wednesday. Today was actually supposed to be race day, um, but it's not because it got canceled due to the smoke coming from Canada. Uh, my heart goes out to anyone in Canada right now that is <sighs> suffering because think about, I know a lot of people are complaining about the smoke, but think about what's going on there and the people that are suffering over in Canada. My heart goes out to anyone that is dealing with it. Like, like I said, this smoke really stinks, but there are people worse off right now. I wanted to jump on here really quickly because I am nearing the end of book two in the Parad Paradale, Paradale Cafe Cozy Mystery. I am 180 pages in, so 73%. And I feel like there's some trickery going on. Like it's only 73% done, 180 pages in. Supposedly they found the murderer, but I don't know. I don't think the one that they found is the right one. I could be wrong, but I'm getting that vibe. Also, I think the other day I said I was reading another Joanne Fluke book and... <laughs> My mistake, I grabbed the wrong one. So this is actually the right one. This is Cream Puff Murder. This is the next one that needs to be done. Which is great because the other one was a Christmas one. And it's too hot to be reading Christmas things. I don't know when exactly in the span of a year of the year this takes place. But it's not Christmas themed. So after I get finished reading and finishing Lemonade and Lies, I'm going to dive into this. So, yeah. Just thought I'd, I don't know, I'm going to probably come back to this and be like, ha, I told you, that wasn't, that wasn't the right murderer. So I'm documenting it. 
it was exactly like I thought it was going to be. Wow, that freaking ending. Oh my god. This is book two! Book two in the series! And the ending was... It was so good. It was so good. I can't wait to, to read the next one, which is Donuts and Deception. I will leave... Obviously, I will leave a cover right here. <sighs> I love this series. I love this series. Like, Hannah Swenson is my favorite cozy mystery series because it's so nostalgic for me. It was my first kind of cozy mystery, like, my introduction to cozy mystery. But this is definitely a second because you can't beat your first cozy mystery experience. Um, but, yeah, it's really great. Um... So I just talked to Don, and he's he's out mowing the lawn because the lawn needs it. But we have to say I'm I've been for a little bit in this mode where I'm just like everything needs to go. I need everything to just find a spot. So we have this thing right here, this thing, and um, <laughs> it's a mess in here. I mean, I have my wine up here, you know, when friends come over and stuff, but like in here, like chips are on this side, like chips and popcorn and snacky stuff. I have cookbooks up in here and, and in here, um, I have, we have a food saver sealer thing, my microwave, my cat bowl thing that needs to be done. This drawer right here is a freaking just <sighs> it's an absolute mess. I have like paper straw crap in here. I have Hello Fresh freaking instructions in here. And down here, there's some alcohol down here that's been kind of forgotten. But um, what I'd like to do is clean this out. And um, let me turn this around because we don't want to give anybody. <laughs> any advertising situation but you can see there's there's kind of I don't know this this is ridiculous this whole thing so I've told Don I said well what if we took this shelf down which now that I'm looking at he's gonna have to cut and we put things like um you know the crock pot or maybe it can, maybe the crock pot can already fit in here but you know, the crock pot and the air fryer and, you know, who knows what else. But I'm slowly trying to clean this out and get rid of things because just, no. By the way, this was my cousin Holly's. Holly, if you're watching, we still use it. We love it. Do I want to paint it so it's more my aesthetic yes like the knobs need to be darker and this almost needs to be <laughs> black because it's white it's too bright white is too bright in this house hello guys good morning hopefully you can see me <laughs> I never know. This is why maybe someday I'm going to invest in an actual camera, but for right now, you're just going to have to deal with the phone and my air conditioning going. Possibly Tula will make some noise as well because it's 1046 and she thinks that she gets food right away. Even though Don gave her breakfast, gave all three cats breakfast before he left, and then they are not supposed to eat again until like 11 30 so they they have another hour to go um it's gonna storm again we've been getting a lot of storms like a lot a lot of storms lately and um there's supposed to be some storming this afternoon which as a as a reader <laughs> the stormy weather just makes for a perfect reading situation and speaking of reading I have been reading Cream Puff Murder by Joanne Fluke. This is book 11 in the Hannah Swenson Cozy Mystery series. It is my favorite cozy mystery series of all time. There are 
about to be 29 books in the series. There's a new one coming out. I got some stuff on my book. I really need to like, I don't know what happened, but yeah, this one's fun so far. I have we haven't gotten to the murder yet. Um, I am 58 pages in and um, I like it so far a lot. Uh, there are some really good ones if you're unfamiliar with kind of cozy mystery, like foodie cozy mysteries. The Hannah Swenson series has recipes throughout the book. So, you know, she'll talk about, you know, a foodie thing and then there'll be a recipe. So the first, I should say the first one, the one that I just saw is Minty Melts. And I keep saying I want to make, I want to make these, but you know, that <laughs> requires time. But there was definitely one in the beginning where it was like pistachio. Yeah, pistachio winks. And I mean, the only thing I'm really missing is molasses and pistachio. I hate that it says two cups finely chopped pistachio nut meats. Why are we using the word nut meats? It's weird. I don't know. So the Hannah Swenson series, it follows Hannah Swenson. She is your um, amateur sleuth. She owns a cookie shop called The Cookie Jar and um, she lives in this small Luna. She's going nuts right now, so if you hear running, it's Luna. Um, so this takes place in a small Minnesota town, and I just, each book, like yeah, there's a murder, but it's kind of wholesome at the same time. Like a Hallmark movie with murder is what I kind of try to tell people that cozy mysteries tend to be. Um, so yeah, this book started off with a food fight and these two women fighting in a restaurant because the one woman has like, I don't know, she's known as like the, the lady that flirts with all the guys in the town and like women are starting to get fed up with it. And um, yeah, it's kind of surrounding that a little bit right now. Like I said, we, I've yet to get to the death part of it but yeah I really like it and then on my Kindle I'm going to go to read I'm gonna go to go to read I'm gonna I'm gonna read book three in the Paradale Cafe cozy mystery series and book three is called Donuts in Deception I don't know if you can see that but it is this one over here and uh, yeah, I, another great cozy mystery that um, is really exciting to read. So it's a bunch of cozy mysteries right now. And I'm just going to spend today in the house. I'm going to make myself an egg sandwich. I bought these really like delicious rolls yesterday and I just, I want to put an egg sandwich on it. And yeah, it's just going to be a cozy reading day <laughs> where the girls are just going to go nuts. Oh, I also want to try and film. I do need to get myself ready. I want to do a, um, unhaul of, uh, this, hold on, I'll show you. I want to do an unhaul of this bookshelf right here because it's just this is them running I told you this is what they do <laughs> all the time um but yeah I really want to take care of this bookshelf because this bookshelf is a mess and a lot of it needs to go you see it's kind of like caved in here so I need to put boxes behind it to move things forward um, my Hannah Swenson series. So here, here's a, I mean, I guess you'll see it by then, but all this is staying. This is my Hannah Swenson series. It ends right here at the caramel pecan roll one, but from there, that orangey book all the way down is Hannah Swenson. And there's another one coming too. So there'll be another one going right there. 
So, yeah, I really need to take care of that. But it'll get there. Need to eat, make myself presentable first, and more coffee. started phase one of an unhaul. My shelves are empty. Well, except for I put my Hannah Swenson stuff away. Um, but I'm good. I'm trying a new trick. I don't know if you can see. Mm, maybe not. Maybe like right here. You can probably see there's a box. So I tried putting like a box behind some of the books. I think that will help with most of the smaller books like this that I'm going to keep um, so it's not falling in on itself because that was the problem with the shelf is that it would like everything was falling in and it just looked a mess so kind of <laughs> can you see back there probably not but there's a beer box back there there's a Swiffer box back there and that's what's keeping these forward but yeah, I still need to go through all this. I'm doing that video in two parts. I still need to go through this. These books I'm keeping. I just gotta, they gotta go back in here somehow. And um, the books I'm gonna, like not get rid of, but put in a different home. I have already moved. I'm gonna bring some of them to the bus garage because we have like a little library area. And I know a lot of people enjoy that, so. I'm going to bring some books that I think people would like, and maybe, I don't know, I still have not 
done anything with the books from the first round of unhauling, so <laughs> wish me luck. <laughs>